The reality is, the reality is that narcissism survivors, they face an uphill battle. And it's a battle that's invisible to just most people because they just don't understand unless they've actually been through it themselves. And it's like, you know, trying to e explain the existence of Bigfoot and all you have as evidence is a blurry photo. Because the scars, the scars from the verbal and the psychological abuse from narcissism, it's just, it's not visible. And society tends to dismiss them as if, you know, the pain that you carry inside you doesn't even matter because it can't be measured with bruises and broken bone. It's psychological trauma. Then unless you're actually suffering from it, it's like it's almost impossible for someone to understand. So narcissistic verbal and, you know, psychological torment, well, those are often just mere whispers in the wind to most people. And trying to understand it can almost be like, you know, to someone else, be like trying to catch smoke with your bare hand. As soon as you reach out for it, it disappears. And these forms of narcissistic abuse are often overlooked. And it's too many people um, just mislabel it. And it can feel like to the victim to be victim blaming. And society at times just basically turns a blind eye. There's just so much chaos there. There's so much misunderstanding. It's just like they both of you must be nuts. And the narcissist seems to be the calmer of the two post-narcissism. So we might as well listen to the calmer one. That's, that's wrong. Because the horror, the horror that the victims are experiencing is, is real. And to the victim, the loneliness that they feel, not being understood, but trying to explain narcissism to people that just don't understand it. And nobody believes. And, you know, if you actually look at what a monumental task it is to exit these relationships, it makes complete sense for why these relationships are so hard to get out of.